Hi dear students, welcome to yet another class of computer science. Today we are continuing the seventh lesson Python functions. Today we are going to see the advantages of user defined functions. We have gone through all these advantages in the previous topics also. So let us see it as fast as possible. So first one, function helps us to divide a program into modules. This makes the code easier to manage. So we know that what is a function? Function is a smallest unit in a program which can do a task by its itself. So here function, what does it do? It divide a program into modules. Modules means nothing but smaller units into smaller sections. So why do we want to divide a program into modules? When we divide a function or a program into modules, it makes the code easier to manage. Second one, it implements code reuse. So reusability of the code is another advantageous advantage of user-defined function. So if you want to use the same set of statements every time, we need not write it or type it again and again. Just we need to call that function. So the code will be reused. The code can be reused. The third one is function allows us to change the functionality easily and different programmers can work on different functions. So the functionality of a function can be changed very easily so that different programmers can use it in different ways. So these are the three advantages of user-defined functions. First one is function divides a program into modules. Second one, it gives us reusability of code. Third one, it allows us to change the functionality easily. Next, what we are going to see is calling a function. What do you mean by calling a function? Calling a function is nothing but using the name of a function to use the code in another program or in other part of the same program. So we have already learned that reusability of code. So this, uh, since we want to reuse the code, we want to call a function. We want uh, a function will be having a name. We will have to call the function. So it may be to another program or it may be to some other part of the same program. For example, here we have a example statements def hello print hello python return print hello. So here what do you think the name of a function is? It's nothing but the hello this is what the function name. So when we call the function name, where we are calling the function name here in the print statement. So here in the print statement, we are calling the function name. So when we call the function name, this statement will be executed again. Hello Python will be executed again. So calling a function is using the name of a function to call the set of statements into another program or into other part of the same program. So here the output of that statement is here. Hello Python. None. None. Why the none appears here? Since there is nothing to return. When the return value is 0 we will be getting 
the output or result as none. So if the return statement has no arguments means no values then none will be displayed as the last statement of the output. Passing parameters in functions. Parameters or arguments can be passed to a function. So we know why we want a parameter or argument. If you want to pass a value into a function, parameters or arguments are necessary. They are the channels through which the values are passed to the functions. So where do we declare a parameter or an argument? A parameter or an argument is defined when we define a function. So when we define a function, we have to define the parameters also. So within the parentheses, we have to define the parameters. If too many parameters are there, we have to separate by comma. For example, let us assume the value of w as 3 and h as 5. So here the function name is area where we define it def area w comma h which are the parameters. So through these parameters the values will be passed to this function. So here area is the function name. Area is the function name and w and h are the parameters. 3 and 5 are the values passed to w and h. So when we get the output, the result will be 15 since return w into h. So the answer will be 15. The output will be 15. So I think you understood what is a parameter uh, and why we use a parameter or argument. So parameter or arguments are channels through which the values are passed to a function. It is declared along with the function definition. Here. You may be having a doubt that whether these parameters and arguments are same. There is a slight difference between these parameters and arguments. Usually we will be using the terms interchangeably. But there is a slight difference. What is the difference? Parameters are the variables used in the function definition. So the when we define a function, the variables what we give the w and h such things what we give are called as parameters and what are arguments arguments are the values passed to the function parameter so 3 and 5 are called arguments 3 and 5 are called arguments w and h are called parameters but when we uh, use the terms parameters and arguments we will be changing interchanging it sometimes but uh, there is a slight difference that is the value of a parameter is called argument and the operand of an argument is called parameter. Next what we are going to see is function arguments. We have already learned about arguments the values. So the values that are passed to a function are divided into four types required arguments, keyword arguments, default arguments and variable length arguments. So dear students, the explanation of these arguments will be dealt in the next class. So thank you, have a nice day, stay home and stay safe.